good morning welcome back to my channel i is back with another banger as per usual so today well what are we doing um i'm gonna get my locks adjusted hence me having the black shampoo in my hair um we're gonna make some breakfast we're gonna go and buy groceries because i don't have any groceries and it's really annoying me also guys i'm still selling my wigs um but it's like this if you um i'm gonna put it i'm gonna insert pictures here and here of the wigs that i currently i am making so the thing is if you want a wig made the first of all these wigs are 100 percent handmade so it's a first come first up uh basis these wigs are under three thousand, so definitely grab a wig from me definitely hit me up and tell me which wig you want me to make for you and i'm gonna make that for you so yeah there's that order a wig from me support your girl so in this portion of the video i am going to show you how i cut my orange wig into a blunt cut bob just i just thought to film this just in case you are interested so i tied the hair back with a hair tie which is also called a hair band then i went in and cut the hair again because it was short on one side it was giving asymmetrical bob so i went in with my scissors and i just cut and cut and cut my wig away because i really wanted it to be a blunt cut bob because that was what i was going for essentially and i'm just eyeballing it yeah i was really feeling confident okay so like yeah I was going in with my comb i was going in with my scissors like i was doing what i needed to get done like don't play with me so yeah just gonna vibe and watch me put in work because when i tell y'all this wig came out so good like but i really had to cut it like so many times just to get like the perfect blunt cut because it's like my second time doing this so yeah i was really like trying to have the perfect blunt cut So basically, I also wanted this wig to have like a whole new look, hence me adding some root. And this is like a DIY little trick that I used. So I'm going to go in with mascara and I'm going to apply that to the roots of my hair. And I'm just going to apply it, smudge it, apply it and smudge it, apply it and smudge it basically and repeat. So yeah, that is how you add root to a synthetic wig, just in case you were curious, you know, or whatever. So yeah. I just be applying smudging and I think you get the gist because it's very much self-explanatory so yeah subscribe stay tuned I love y'all I appreciate y'all like yeah and that's right period Hello YouTube fam, so um, today is currently the 10th, 10th, it's on a Friday, February, so this is the first day like I legit went to work after my, my, my leave, which was one week, my leave was honestly and truly amazing, I had so much fun, so anyway, today was back to work, oh, and I'm also multitasking, I'm gonna make indomie because I'm really, really like, Leo, today I'm really, really hungry, anyway, so, um, uh, I just wore this wig just because I can, just because it looks good, just because I'm the one who cut it, just because I'm the one who customized it. Like, don't play with her. 
Don't play with me. Don't play with me. Period. So, I feel good. Like, today was honestly such a good day. Even though I was the one who was the cashier, I was the one who was on the longest shift. I feel, I still feel happy. Like, and like, I want to look at life from this point on forwards with gratitude. I want to be thankful for everything. I want to write a whole gratitude list because there's so much to be thankful for. Like, you might not be where you want to be, but I'm going to keep reminding you constantly. I'm going to keep hammering it in your brain. Be thankful for what you have. Don't worry about what you do not have because it's going to come. It's going to, the best is yet to come. So, just chill. Pray about it. You know, like, life no balance. Don't, so don't stress yourself out, you know? Also, I just ran into like a high school friend of mine, and let me tell you, that people are having good visa. Like, I'm not this. I'm. Please note, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with having children. I'm just saying it's like, yo, like, am I the? Uh, am I the only one who don't got a kid? Because baby, who have kids left, right, and center, and I'm just like, bruh. Did I not get? Did I not get the memo? Did I not get the memo? But it's all right, I'm happy for them. Like, if you can comfortably support another human being, then good for you. Like, I'm happy for you. Me personally, <laughs> I'm not there yet. I'm not even sure if I want to have children. Like, I'm legit. Like, I know having a child is a beautiful thing, but I'm also sure it's very expensive. And I hate the word expensive. I don't like it. Oh my God, I hate the word expensive. Like, nothing is... I don't even know what to say. I don't like ever saying something is expensive because I feel like when you say something is expensive, like you are already putting your brain in a box, telling yourself that you can't have this. No, nothing is expensive. I mean, it's, having a kid, it's a bit. Mm, I don't even want to talk about it. So let's talk about this, yeah. So just got home. I wanna make. Matoke, you know, and really mix flani, yeah, gideri, viazi, the big lid, a big Gideri, I had like, I have like potatoes in the house, so I want potatoes and I want plantains. I have like three plantains, which I'm gonna add. Then, I know it's not just me, I know it's not just me. Me, when I make gideri, lazimon chemsha, kikombe, kikombe, kamoja, at least one cup of rice. So I'm gonna make that. Also, I just seen my porridge fly is about to expire and I use ex I don't like wasting food so I think I'm gonna make porridge asubui because in the morning I, I have to open up the shop so I have to be the first one to get there so I might as well just make the porridge now then warm it in the morning because it expire on the 22nd and I don't, I don't like wasting food oh cha give me a minute boiling some water for my indomie because mini konanja like i cannot i cannot wait to like cook i'm like i'm starving like yo i had forgotten how much work i do like plus the kind of work i do you're always on your feet like 24 7 and i've been on my feet since 7 45 up until 8 so I'm like really tired, like honestly and truly I'm tired. I had lunch but still I'm so freaking hungry. So let me boil my indomie as I prepare my plantains. Yo, gas in one gazewa bay, gas in one gas in one that bay na mia tano. Five, no one hundred, not five hundred. Five hundred, I'm like, I'm like so, I'm just like wow. Everything. Bank transfers we are being charged and last it was I was like bro F the government period. I say what I said. So let's meal prep together. I love how this came out. And they spent hours cutting it how I want it. Yes I did. But she is given blunt cut bob vibes. Don't play with me. Yeah. Wait, seriously, let me let me prepare because 
I'm tired. I'm hungry. This is how I be acting when I'm hungry, like bro. I don't make no damn sense. You know that I don't I don't make no damn sense. Good morning guys, uh, so good morning, good morning YouTube family. So today is Sunday. Um, yesterday was Saturday, I did not film because nothing interesting was happening actually. But I, I came on here just to speak on something because yesterday I almost felt triggered, like I really almost felt triggered. Um, I'm wearing clothes so don't mind me. So I feel like how you let other people treat you is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. So boom, what happened was um, there was this person, let me, what am I, I can't really call her, this person a friend, let me just call her an acquaintance. An acquaintance is just someone you're familiar with. You know what I'm saying? So boom, this person called me in the morning and she, like, I didn't like the way she spoke to me. So I was like, you know what? I don't appreciate how you spoke to me. I feel like you are not, you are, I feel like your intonation, like, I am the, let me tell y'all, I am the queen of, what do we call it, like, in a too, what is it called? Me trying to gather my thoughts because I'm running late also. Um I am the queen of passive aggression, but I, I, I am not doing that anymore. Like I don't wanna be passive aggressive when I can just tell you and tell you like, yo, you need to you don't don't talk to me like that. Like if you're not talk if you're not gonna talk to me in a way that it has to be, I don't know. But anyway, my point is how you let other people treat you is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. So if you're letting other people talk over you like you are a doormat, that's how you feel about yourself. And you are, you are the one who's in control. So you need to have boundaries and you need to have standards, basically. That's, basically, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. And I'm talking fast because I'm also in a hurry. So I was like, I'm not going to go down that road of just being... I'm not anybody's doormat, so it's either you talk to me well or you don't talk to me at all. Like, yeah, because I'm not gonna do that in 20. We are in the year 2023. I'm not gonna let you ruin my genius, the choir, and my good vibes just because you don't wanna come correct. No, I don't care who you are. I don't care if we, are, we have been friends for 10 years. You are gonna talk to me politely. You are like those those like jokes then you say anakombianga like you know those jokes that are like back 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 ended jokes and back ended compliments we i'm not gonna do that i'm not gonna do that with you i would rather just be alone and do my own shit because i am not dealing with all of that like 
those jokes that people make as as jokes, but they're really being serious about it. So watch how people talk to you. How you let other people talk to you is a reflection of how you feel about yourself. Period. I said what I said. Yeah, so I'm gonna go to work. I'm also sharing today. I don't know if I'm able to film, but yeah. Sunday. This is Sunday for me. So yeah, I need to find my belt. Remember you are in control and just have some boundaries and some standards because people, people will walk all over you if you let them. Period. I'm out.